I just got three crowns for beating uh, the computer. Three crowns in chess. Which is three, I got, look, three crowns. Which is three field goals, nine points. Remember when Matthew Daly said YouTube's not YouTube's not like the mo the the biggest platform on earth. Well, technically no, it's the second. But uh that's only to Google itself. So YouTube is the place to be. By Steve Chen, Chad Hurley, and Joel Karim. YouTube has more than one billion monthly users who collectively watch more than 1 billion hours of videos each day as of May 2019. Look forward to seeing you all there. Also, another cool thing, on February 25th, Jeffrey Earnhardt will be racing in a special Jesus Revolution car at the uh, Fontana Speedway. Check this out. <laughs> Oh, look at that, 44. How interesting. How interesting. Five hours ago. 44. <laughs> we just went from 44 to 13. 44. So uh, what's really cool about it is see on the back it says findhopeharvest.org. And uh, people, you know, a lot of people see this because it's on television as well and so forth. And so <laughs> it's got all of our graphics all over. It's going to be fun. I pray Jeffrey will win that race for God's glory. <laughs> Seriously. So that's Greg Laurie at five hours ago. It's 7.47 February 5th, 2023. And... 20 hours ago, I went with my final pick. It would change the life of a person. Someone's going to win it. I think it's at 1.3 right now. How convenient. No, right, Andrew? My power just went from my 24 to 13. 24 to 13. So I'm looking at the total being 44. And as of five hours ago, it's just all about confirming the numerology and 13%. So that makes 31 is left over. 31 plus 13 is 44. Let's grab our Bibles now and turn to James chapter 5. How about this uh, balloon from China? Oh, that looks like a balloon, does it? The little, uh, you know, the little string. There was a giant floating face above a park. Tokyo, oh, that was years ago. There you go. That's a good one. Here it is. Here's a balloon head. It's like a China, China balloon. Jamestown. Let's go to James five. We'll go to to Jamestown. If you just look in the 
the 3D landscape. Oh, what is that? Like the eagle's face or something, the mouth. But you have the boot indented. Let's see. Yeah. Get a dark road. Now, hybrid. Area. Hybrid's more like it. Or even aerial. It's a difference. Hybrid, aerial, what's the difference? That uh, has more lines. Oh, aerial, bird's eye. Street side. Stick with that. Yeah, why's this thing sticking with me? Oh, look at that. It's even thirty five, root thirty five. Where it's three, it's five, it's uh, seven, it's five touchdowns in Super Bowl 57. So here you have this balloon floating up. On this different map, even at nighttime, you're seeing the wood are all lit up. So it's kind of obvious that there would be underground areas. Is that the, it's definitely the, the tail, right? It has the, now it has the trunk of an elephant. Now it has the elephant trunk look to it. I didn't notice the fangs on the other map. And I've already um, done the decode on uh, June 28, 2018, Robin Henry T's. There's some things we gotta look at, so let's check it out. Oh yeah, June 28th, I believe, is uh, Robin's birthday. And I've already um, done a decode on uh, June 28th, 2018, Robin Henry T's. Look at this. 44% on my battery life. June 28th, 44%. Right, um, Oh, another cool thing, on February 25th, Jeffrey Earnhardt will be racing in a special Jesus Revolution car at the uh, Fontana Speedway. Check this out. <laughs> so when you catch it, when you catch Kim, Kim Jean before the title transfers over on the same day, January 31st, so how a bad Christian can become a great prayer warrior, Genesis 31, 14. This was added on 
after at least 731 views, but I'm sure even sooner than that, that it was changed immediately. And you, you really got to be one. I mean, you got to be a highest trained reviewer in order to catch this. So 44 minus 13 is going to give you 31. So 31 is actually what the Eagles score instead of 44. So I, I was being just a pure white apron of lambskin. Thus, it will be seen that our apron is a variable, very honorable garment, pure white. one that we should treasure. It is an apron made of lambskin, pure white incidents. Why was Kim Jong-un's letter to Trump so big? So because well, it gave him the, the, it's the Super Bowl package. Scores and everything. Complete details. In Super Bowl 57, we're not in Kansas anymore. Wizard of Oz, pray. Followed in their father's footsteps and visited the Holy Land. And like their dad, got a tattoo on their arms depicting five crosses. Five touchdowns, 35 five points. Five crosses and three crowns of Jerusalem. Three field goals. Nine points, which is 44 altogether. Total score in the envelope, 44. Power just went from 44 to 13. 44 to 13. Track 13, that gets you to Kansas City Chiefs score. I mean, the Eagles, 31, and then 13, Kansas City. 57, 26, 16. Ding. Down Dynasty. Georgia God stomp. Oh, my phone's going dead. How, how funny. I just had 44%. Isn't that funny? Mm -hmm. Higher ground productions. 44%, now it's at 7. I mean, can it get any weird? On February 11th, uh, Bloomberg Business News reported that China was Second. seeking uh, guarantees. Child seeking guarantees. 44% guarantees. that can back me up on this. There will be uh, China boots and there will be boots on the ground of Russia and China. And China. There's a China boot. Military women. Female soldier. Specifically. Female soldier. Military women. Bibles now and turn to James chapter 5. James Town, Chapter Five, Gordonville, Gordon, Gordon Heights. Uh, advance of midterms. That's what it is. Netflix, higher ground. He was set up in the holy place upon the that that new block that they put higher up ground. on the uh, Georgia guy. Gordon, the new block they put on the Gord, Gord, Gord at Georgia. Guidestones, 35 coming in, three, five uh, crossings coming in, and this, um, this balloon here. The balloon. Coming in right at the 35 mark marking. Right there, 35. James chapter 5, and the title of my message is, What the Lord's Return Means to You. I don't know if you heard this recently, the doomsday clock. You ever heard of the doomsday clock? I was moved forward this week. Top scientists and security experts moved it to 90 seconds to midnight. That's too large.
to the Russian invasion of Ukraine and the increased risk of nuclear war. By the way, this is the closest this clock has ever been. And it's a reminder that even non-believers know we're living in scary times. Balloon from China <laughs> floating over the United States. My friend Marco Rubio, who's a senator, said that wasn't just a balloon, that was a message. We're, we're having our sovereignty tested here. This is serious stuff. And uh, China has emerged in the last two decades as a major power in the world. One expert said they've increased their air, sea, space, and cyber missile capabilities the last couple of decades. So it's interesting when you look at the last days and there is a certain a group identified as the kings of the east and many wonder if that is not a reference to what we now call modern day China. So here we have an emerging superpower that was not there before and the strange absence of another superpower that is here now, best known as the United States of America. Things are shifting, things are moving quickly, things are moving at a rapid pace, as the Bible said they would in the last days. Because Jesus compared it to labor pains when a woman is getting ready to deliver her child. Uh, the labor pains get closer and closer together until the baby is born. And oh, my phone's going dead, how, how funny. I just had 44%, isn't that funny? Mm -hmm. High ground productions. 44% now it's at 7. I mean, can it get any weird? Yeah. On February 11th, uh, Bloomberg Business News reported that China was seeking uh, guarantees. Child seeking guarantees. 44% guarantees. that can back me up on this. There will be uh, China boots and there will be boots on the ground of Russia and China. And China. There's a China boot. Military women, female soldier, specifically female soldier. This uh, balloon from China floating over the United States. My friend Marco Rubio, who's a senator, said that wasn't just a balloon, that was a message. And there is a certain a group identified as the kings of the East, and many wonder if that is not a reference to what we now call modern day China. So here we have an emerging superpower that was not there before, and the strange absence of another superpower that is here now. It's a simple message that everyone seems to be getting collectively. Jesus is coming again. And I know that stresses people out. Not that Jesus is coming, but when we see so many things going wrong. What should we do? Well, the Bible says when you see these things begin to happen, freak out, right? Bless you, no, that's not what it says. Jesus died. said when you see these things begin to happen, look up for your redemption is drawing out. near. You know, it's really important. Lord, so what this should we do? Four, three, two, one, well, the Bible says guys, when you see these things beginning to happen, freak out, right? Y'all looking to freak out? No, that's not what I'm it says. I'm freaking out. Jesus said when you, well, maybe you're kind of going overboard, but then I'll look at some people. It's almost like their hobby to study Bible prophecy, but I see their life is falling apart mm -hmm. or their marriage is unraveling or they're living immorally. And as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, the same thing happened to King David too, right? You're missing the point. The po this is missing a point. It's also missing the car. On Google, Google Maps, this is just a different browser, so it looks different. It says findhopeharvest.org. And uh, people, you know, a lot of people see this because it's on. I pray Jeffrey will win that race for God's glory. <laughs> Seriously. Yes. So let, let's but be praying for that. And let's grab our Bibles now and turn to James chapter 5. Uh, innovative and, um, you know, 
he has a group of athletes and coaches that are humble, just team oriented, and they grind, as I said. And if you grind with everybody, Jeffrey Lorry, Greg Lorry, Jeffrey Lorry. Hey, yeah, it's spelled different. Whatever. Jeffrey winning. And as we're talking about, 44%. Or uh, 44 points. 44 is definitely involved in the Super Bowl. The only real question is, is it going to be 44 points total? Or does one team score 44 points and the other team scores 31 points or one team scores 44 the other one scores 13 or one team scores 31 the other one scores 13 I pray Jeffrey will win that race for God's glory <laughs> seriously yeah, yeah. Uh, you, you got this Super Bowl Jeffrey for sure, uh, Jeffrey Laurie, Greg's brother, or maybe you're the same person. I don't know. You kind of look similar. He's look alike. All the players, his own coaches. So let, let's be praying for that. And let's grab our Bibles way, now and turn to James chapter 5. To connect with James chapter 5. Dynamic, the title of my message is and, What the um, Lord's Return is. He has means a group to of you. Athletes and coaches I don't know if you've humble, heard this just recently, the Doomsday Clock. You ever heard said. of the Doomsday Clock? I was moved forward this NFC week. Tops and hopefully one more. How about Jalen Hurts and his moved it to 90 seconds the year. to what midnight. Like to watch That's due largely to yeah, the Russian invasion of Second Ukraine and the increased but risk of nuclear Jaylen, war. By the way, this is the closest this clock has ever been. And it's a reminder that even Unbelievers like know we're living in scary times. Dedicate- it's important for us to know about it, but there's a blessing attached to the person who studies Bible prophecy and specifically in the book of Revelation, it says, blessed is the person who reads and hears the words of this prophecy and keeps the things that are written in it for the time is at hand. Now I know some would say, well, it's really... Going to azanimals.com. There are 1.3 million alligators inhabiting the state of Florida, based on an annual census of 50 sites across the state. Three uh, billion dollars, right, for the Powerball? 1.3 billion? There's a Powerball lottery thing going on right now. Do you know that that prize has now exceeded one billion dollars? Can you imagine? how that would change the life of a person. Someone's going to win it. I think it's at 1.3 right now. Uh, After Trump goes and meets with us, this is a huge day. The 13th of this month after. How convenient. My power just went from 44 to 13. 44. Losing power, losing battery, battery life, losing 13, going down to 13 percent. That would bring you to 31 from 44. 31 from 44. When you catch Kim, Kim Jean before the title transfers over on the same day, and you'll catch the area prophecy. Well, I don't know that that's true. Because it's not God's desire to conceal, it's his desire to reveal. And to the point, the very word revelation means the unveiling. And that's why Jesus, when speaking of the abomination and desolation, uh, of desolation in Matthew 24, he says, let the reader understand. Because the people are going to be duped into believing a lie and they will have already gone, many of them, many Gentiles will have gone to Israel believing that this was a godly nation, a godly thing to do. 
And then you will find that the blood is on your hands, as it was on Israel's 2,000 years ago. When Jesus warns you, according to Matthew, and I'll just pull that up in Matthew's gospel real quick. I bet you probably think most of it was about you. I probably said your name quite a few times. Look at it, he got snitches. If Nine twenty-four p.m. About me, then that's fine. Do you guys understand that he has the right to say whatever he wants to say? Nine twenty-four p.m. You guys understand that, right? You guys gotta understand it. If you can't understand that, then you can't understand. Two hours and fifty-three right minutes into the right video. Now. Great, hey Robin, what's going on? He already told you that in the beginning, I'm clown. Gone for three hours, you can rewatch the whole thing because I know you will. I bet you probably think most of it was about you. I probably said your name quite a few times. About one hundred and seventy-five thousand. If he's live streaming, I'm surprised he hasn't commented and called me a Judas yet. But you know, it's what happened. No, I commented and said thanks for the laughs, but you didn't. You didn't. You um, didn't get it. Anyways, I've had no trolls in my whole stream. Isn't that crazy? This dude is. Oh, and then I make a video. Now he's lying his ass off. Then I make a video because I'm trolling him. Uh, how I go crazy? <laughs> I make a video yesterday. Back on March 2nd, 322018, 11 months and one day after I joined YouTube on April 2nd, 2017, which was exactly 11 years, 11 months, and 11 days after Joel Karim uploaded his first video about me at the zoo. He had 111 subscribers. It was my 11th month and first day, and the first video I ever uploaded was one minute and 11 seconds. Me coming in with a bow, uh, Bowie, Merlin, a boxing lab. And I get crucified by this guy for three hours on this day? I mean, this is what it was supposed to be? And yet I'm trolling him. All my subs. I just get a little angry when people blast me the word of God. Just mainly Andrew and Robin. And then they called me a liar? That's who he's calling liars, me and Andrew, God's word. If you notice, I quote God's word a lot. I think I got 116. By the way, I had more I had more people subscribe to me last night. I couldn't believe it. I'm like, wow, I'm yelling and being a douche, and, and I'm getting more subscribers. It was the wildest thing I ever saw. Apparently, people like seeing me go nuts. Hey, he's going soon. I, got, I, got I can't go more than three hours. I have to. I was like, what? That, that blew that blew my mind a little bit, but... Um, yeah, you sure are quiet. Was it something I said? I don't know what else to say on that. Just, ba just bash me for a little bit more. ...to Matthew, and I'll just pull that up in Matthew's Gospel real quick. Uh, Matthew 23. Let me just do it from the Dead Sea Scrolls because I'm in the Dead Sea Scrolls right now. I'm going to come back to Matthew 24 in a moment there. But when he says here, Serpents, seed of vipers, how will you escape the judgment of Gehenna if you do not turn in repentance? Isaiah chapter This isn't going to be about you, Robin, but it's going to be exactly about you. Okay, Robin? For unto us a child is born. It's already a half hour Christ in. read this when he was reading from the scroll of Isaiah, in the, it, remember when he was here on the planet? He read it from this. Remember? Because after he was done saying this, he was like, I'm here. here. I'm here. Here I am. Here I am. <sighs> Isaiah chapter... This isn't going to be about you, Robin, but it's going to be exactly about you. Okay, Robin? For Isaiah... You, you keep cutting in before Matthew even says anything, Rob, and talking about it's going to be all about you. Uh, you said that Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. Unto us a child is born, but there will be no more gloom for her. Nevertheless, the dimness shall not be such as was in her vexation, her anguish in earlier times. The first time, when at the first he lightly afflicted the land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali, and afterward did more grievous afflict 
her by the way of the sea beyond the Jordan and Galilee of the nations. The people who walk in darkness will see a great light. Those who live in a dark land, the light will shine on them. You shall multiply the nation, you shall increase their gladness. They will be glad in your presence as with the gladness of harvest, as men rejoice when they divide the spoil. For you shall break the yoke of their burden and the staff on their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor as at the battle of Midian. For every boot of the booted warrior in the battle tumult, a tumult, and cloak for old in blood will be for burning fuel for the fire, and cloak rolled in blood. It almost looks like this picture that I keep referring back to. Like there's something here that's rolled in blood. And I have a lot of weight on my shoulders. I have this really big Nephilim guy back here. The, the sun is shining on his face from the east. And another golden type of, I don't know, is it a candlestick standing up there? There's two of them. And they're both golden faces. Upon my upon my shoulders, it's like the the staff or the the yoke of taking the burden off of their shoulders, and the cloak rolled in blood will be for burning, fuel for the fire. For a child will be born unto us, a son will be given to us, and the government will rest on his shoulders, and his name will be called. Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Eternal Father, Prince of Peace. There will be no end to the increase of his government or peace, uh, government or of peace. On the throne of David and over his kingdom to establish it and to uphold it with justice and righteousness from then on. And forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will accomplish this judgment against Israel's pride. Judgment against Israel's hypocrisy. Judgment against Israel's unrepentance. I don't, I never, I don't think I ever read this chapter before, but uh, the Lord sends a message against Jacob. And it falls on Israel. And all the people who know it, that is Ephraim and the inhabitants of Samaria, asserting in pride and in arrogance of heart, the bricks have fallen down, but we, re, we will build back better. We'll remember to build back better. We will rebuild with smooth stones the sycamores have been cut down. But we will replace them with cedars. Therefore, the Lord raises against them adversaries from resin and the spur, and it spurs their enemies. It spurs them on. And the Arab Arameans on the east and the Philistines, Philly, Philistines on the west, and they devour Israel with gapping jaws. So they're going to devour them with a gapping jaw. Gapping jaw. Right where the boot. They're talking about the boot too. Gapping jaw. Because that's like. That's the, the jaw unhinged. Big mouth. His foot in his mouth. <clears throat> and, and they devour Israel with gapping jaws. In spite of all this, his anger does not turn away and his hand is still stretched out.
That looks like a stretched out hand. It's an arm, and it even stretches out and shoots spider webs connecting to South America. It looks like his mommy and daddy are looking him on. So if that's Kim Jean, then it means China, the boots on the ground. China's becoming a force to be reckoned with. And the modern day China would be on the east coast of yeah, over here would be on the East Coast. Kings of the East. That's what I heard. Through the grapevine. And the Philistines on the West, and they devour Israel with gapping jaws. In spite of all of this, oh yeah, his anger does not turn away, and his hand is still, it's still stretched out. Then the judgment against Israel's hypocrisy. Yet the people do not turn back to him who struck who struck them. For the people turneth not unto him that smiteth them. The people did not turn to him who struck them, so they didn't turn back to him. But the people have not returned to him who struck them, nor have they sought the Lord Almighty. So the Lord cuts off head and tail from Israel, head and tail, because up in Philly, now as Philly is up at the top, you got Willie there, William, Prince William, Andrew went down to, uh, went down to Israel, or left, disappeared. Israel is the first flag. At the head, at the head, and then the tail the stinger, the tongue sticking out. Down here at the tail, the tail end of it, draining the swamp, forty four percent. The China Balloon, Lake Hancock, China Boot on the ground. God, stop. Oh, my phone's going dead. How, how funny. I just had 44%. Isn't that funny? Mm -hmm. Higher ground productions. 44%, now it's at 7. I mean, can it get any... Weird. On February 11, uh, Bloomberg Business News reported that China was seeking uh, guarantees. Child seeking guarantees. That's where Robin Henry Tease was born. 44% guarantees. That can back me up on this. There will be uh, China boots, and there will be boots on the ground of Russia and China. And China. I'm there's a China boot. Military women. Oh, yeah, female right. soldier. Specifically, female soldier. Verse 5 And the devil taking him up into a high mountain showed unto him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. Number 96, 69, 96. So Isaiah 9, 6. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Uh, Yet the people do not turn back to him who struck them, nor do they seek the Lord of hosts. So the Lord cuts off head and tail from Israel, both palm branch and bulrush in a single day. The head is the elder and the honorable man, and the prophet who teaches falsehood is the tail. Obviously, the tail is a lie. It's your, your lying. A third part of the Angels, uh, the third part of, they were taken down with the tail of Satan. They were drugged down by the, the tail, the, what he's telling. For those who 
guide this people are leading them astray, and those who are guided by them are brought to confusion because of the author. Therefore the Lord does not take pleasure in their young men, nor does he have pity on their orphans or their widows, for every one of them is godless and an evildoer. And Every mouth is speaking foolishness. In spite of all this, his anger does not turn away, and his hand is still stretched out. And then the judgment against Israel's unrepentance for wickedness burns like a fire. It consumes briars and thorns. It even sets the thickets of the forest aflame, and they roll upward in a column of smoke shall mount up like the lifting up of smoke. By the fury of the Lord of hosts, the, the land is burned up, and the people are like fuel for the fire. No man spares his brother. They slice off what is on the right hand, but are still hungry. They slice off what is on the right hand, but still are hungry, and they eat what is on the left hand, but they are not satisfied. Each of them eats the flesh of his own arm. I wonder, is that cutting off your, if your hand offends you, cut it off and then eat it? Or uh, Manasseh devours Ephraim and Ephraim Manasseh, and together they are against Judah. In spite of all this, his anger does not stretch away and his hand is still his anger doesn't turn away and his hand is stretched out still. According to Matthew, and I'll just pull that up in Matthew's gospel real quick. Uh, Matthew 23. Let me just do it from the Dead Sea Scrolls because I'm in the Dead Sea Scrolls right now. I'm going to come back to Matthew 24 in a moment there. But when he says here, serpents, seed of vipers, how will you escape the judgment of Gehenna if you do not turn in repentance? Verse 33 right there. See, seed of vipers. In other words, they are genetically connected to a reptilian entity. Now, if you notice, the scripture says in Revelation 11 that the beast that ascends out of the bottomless pit shall make war against them and shall overcome them and kill them. What beast is that? And who's the one that is for that beast? You. The reptilian that comes from the underground. And then, if you remember when I was showing you the picture where it's the claws, it's the claws the hand gesture. If you look at ancient aliens, alien reptiles manipulate human DNA, season 14 of the History Channel there. We have none other than Rabbi Ariel Tzedak, who also happened to have wrote this book right here. See? Mm -hmm. Aliens, Angels, and Demons. And this man is in very much support of reptiles as friends of the Jewish people. Listen to what he has to say right here in this particular broadcast. Tradition tells us that the army of the Messiah is not to come from heaven, but is to arise from inner earth and therefore dominate the surface world. What do you know? There's your reptilian. There's that reptilian hand there. That 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 the tradition tells them that the Messiah, that the armies of the Messiah come from inner earth. And what does Revelation say here? It says plainly, the beast that ascended out of the bottomless pit. All right, you guys. God bless you. Welcome. And this is it. Four, three, two, one. Before the park, guys. I am freaking out. <laughs> Y'all looking to freak out? I'm freaking out. And therefore, dominate the surface world. What do you know? There's your reptilian. There's that reptilian hand there. Dominate the 
the surface world. What do you know? There's your. There's your reptilian. There's that reptilian hand there. That 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 the tradition tells them that the Messiah, that the armies of the Messiah come from inner earth. Waste and present. As Revelation say here, it says plainly, the beast that ascended out of the bottomless pit shall make war against them. Now, also, too, as I taught you guys recently, when you look at the, the one that comes out of the literal pit and then the spiritual pit on earth would make war with the two witnesses because, you, you, you know, the two witnesses are the most important people to get that word out there. So he would have to come against those two witnesses and make war against them and, and kill them. And you'll see their dead body on the streets for those three and days because you, you may even see videos of them all the time and on the news or something, the internet, the YouTube, you'll see, you'll see uh, videos about them being dead in these streets for three and a half years, it, it's just going to be non. You'll just keep seeing it and seeing it. And I'll show you more people uh, uh, along with them. Look at this scripture right here. The beast that ascends out of the bottomless pit. Well, inner earth is not a bottomless pit. But as I shared with you in that video about six months ago, what is that bottomless pit? When CERN and the CERN-like devices that are being used right now on our atmospheres above, they are able to open up a portal. They open up a dimension, and even Planet X, which, which is known to be a reptilian planet, known to be a reptilian planet, as I've been told by people in Washington that are in the know, it's traveling in the ether. It's riding right in the edge of another dimension, not actually in our reality. But they open that bottomless pit and allow this reptilian demonic entities in. Into what? Demonic entities in. Entities in. And uh, he heard a voice say to him, Hey you, pick me up and kiss me and I'll turn into a beautiful princess. He's like, who said that? Again, he hears his voice. Hey you, pick me up and kiss me and I'll turn into a beautiful princess. He hears it a third time and now he realizes it's a frog saying this to him. Hey, true story. <laughs> and I'm the old man. Hold on. Saying this to him. Hey, true story. And I'm the old man. Yes. However. In the story. This happened yesterday. Not really. So the third time the frog says to the old man, pick me up and kiss me. I'll become a beautiful princess. He picks up the frog and puts it in his pocket. <laughs> the frog says, I said kiss me and I'll become a beautiful princess. Mm -hmm. The old man said... At my age, better. I'd rather have a talking frog. <laughs> or what he knows. Uh, let's just stick with the talking frog. No need to. You're a frog. If you're going to turn into a beautiful woman, it's because there's some kind of suit you're putting on. I just stick with the talking frog. It's kind of cool, right? Yeah, I mean, even if there was three of them. Verse 7. James 5, verse 7 is, I mean, 5 times 7 will get you 35. 5 times 7.
So right where the balloon is and Jamestown, Jamestown 57, Jamestown's right here. So 5735, 3 and 5, just 35 points. And that's five touchdowns altogether, which is five crossings, makes it 35. And then three field goals is three crowns, and that would three crowns, and that would make it 44 total. Dear brothers and sisters, writes James, be patient as you wait for the Lord's return. Consider the farmers who patiently wait for the rains in the fall and in the spring. They eagerly look for the valuable harvest to reap. It says, for those that look for him, Christ shall appear the second time. Look for him. And so the idea here is this, is looking forward to it, sort of like a kid on Christmas Eve. Remember when you were a little boy or girl and you were hoping your parents got you what you told them you wanted for Christmas? And you ran down the stairs and, and there it was and you tore the package open? That's how we should be living as we await the Lord's return, with excitement, not some laissez-faire attitude. In fact, Paul in Romans 13 verse 11 says, understanding the present time, the hour has come to wake up from your slumber because our salvation is near. Is that number 13 again? I don't know about the 11. Then when we first believe the night is nearly over, the day is almost here. And then Paul goes on to say this. So therefore, let us put aside the deeds of darkness and put on the armor of light. Let us behave decently as in the daytime, not in orgies and drunkenness, not in sexual immorality and debauchery, not in dissension and jealousy. Right. So, and sometimes it may seem to us as though God is late. You know, the people of Israel were impatient. It had been 400 years since they had heard from a single prophet. 400 years since they'd seen a miracle. 400 years and they had not had a single angelic appearance. But Galatians 5 says, when the time was just right, God sent forth his son made of a woman born under the law to redeem those that are under the law. And Jesus, the Messiah, fulfilled prophecy and was born in the manger of Bethlehem. When the time is right. With these words. So what if the Lord is waiting for that one last person? And what if you somehow knew who that one last person was and they were sitting next to you in church? For the one last person. Boy, point at me. And what if you some? <laughs> E.T. phone home. Hey. There. Is that? Is that? Is that the way it's supposed? Is this? Is that the way it's supposed to look? Is that how it's supposed to be? Creation of Adam. Somehow knew who that one last person was, and they were. One last person was. <laughs> you know, I'm going to be sitting here, right? On this, on this side. I haven't changed it in quite some time. <laughs> And they were sitting next to you in church. Oh, can we get on with this right now? Could you just accept Christ? <laughs> Imagine if we... Hello. The Hague. But when you lost your first tooth, <laughs> you can't leave, Troy. Say something, God damn it! You're on television! You're live to the whole world!
in case I don't see you. Good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Yeah. Pirates go to Kelsey Grammer, Jonathan Rooney, <laughs> Chuck Smith, and Lonnie Frisbee. So we're getting... It's all about similarities. Is it possible that Greg could be someone like that? Yeah, because him, Kelsey Grammer, Jonathan Rumi, the guy that plays Jesus and Chosen are all together in this movie, Jesus Revolution. So it's possible that someone can be like the creator of uh, this universe here, this planet down here, Earth, and run everything and have the ability to make movies. Shoot a baptism scene a little bit later, and uh, you guys have done such an amazing job in this film. Well, you will be judged. Look, the judge is standing at the door. We'll read verse 5. And the devil taking him up into a high mountain showed unto him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. And the devil said unto him, All this power will I give thee, and the glory of them, for that is delivered unto me, and to whomsoever I will, I give it. If thou therefore wilt worship me, all shall be thine. Now, notice the wording right here. Satan. At the door. Don't complain about other believers. Go to them and try to help them. To grumble about means to groan within oneself. It's the description of a person with a bitter attitude who is always criticizing and complaining. Someone might say, I have the spiritual gift of criticism. No, you don't. <laughs> There's no gift like that. Well, I, I just see everything that's wrong. Well, that's part of the problem. Don't be that person. The problem with bitter people is they generally can't keep their bitterness to themselves. That's why the Bible warns about a root of bitterness springing up and defiling many. Don't be that person tearing others down. You have a disagreement with someone, go to them nowadays with social media, especially Twitter. I mean, I'm not the one that joined on 6-6-2006. Six, six, I will not be judged for what God has called you to do. We will each be judged for what God has called us individually to do. So live the way you ought to be living and make your life count. 